Hello everyone. Today we will do exercise 10.2 of unit 10 that is profit and loss. So let's begin. Question number one is find the profit percent or loss percent. So in this question we have to see whether there is a profit or loss and after that we will find the profit percent or loss percent accordingly. So in part A SP is given and CP is given. So write down in the solution SP rupees 40,000, CP rupees 35,000. So, in case we need to find profit or loss, first of all, we need to compare whether CP is greater or SP is greater. So, here SP is greater. Because SP is greater than CP, so there will be profit. So, profit is equals to SP minus CP. Put the values, subtract them and you will get rupees 5,000 as the answer. So, this is your profit. After getting profit, then you will use the formula of profit percent to find the profit percent. So, profit percent is profit divided by CP in 200. Now, you have to put the values. So, write 5000 for profit and CP is 35,000 multiply by 100. Now, you have to solve it. Okay. Now, it is up to you how you want to solve it. Okay. So, it's your choice. Now, here just Cut these three zeros in the denominator and numerator. Then 5 is left in the numerator and 35 in the denominator. So 5 ones are 5, 5 sevens are 35. Now multiply these two values, this numerator and the whole number. So 1 into 100 will be 100 and denominator is 7. You can divide it. Okay. And what you can see here, the quotient is 14 and the remainder is 2 when you will divide 100 by 7. So, how you will write the profit percent? Either you can write 100 by 7 percent or you can like write it like this. That is, write the quotient here, remainder here and the divisor will be written as the denominator. Okay, this is how we used to write in case of mixed numbers. Okay, the method is same. So, 14 2 by 7 percent is the answer and this is the profit percent. Next is part B. Here SP is rupees 18,000 and CP is rupees 20,000. So, let us write SP rupees 18,000, CP rupees 20,000. Now, let us compare them. So, by comparing, we just came to know that CP is greater than SP. It means there will be a loss. Because CP is greater than SP, therefore loss is equal to CP minus SP. Now, put the values, subtract them and you will get rupees 2000 as the answer and this is loss. Now, after finding loss, we will find loss percent. That is loss upon CP in 200. So, write down loss, then in denominator, write down CP. Loss is 2000. CP is 20,000. Multiply by 100. Now, these three zeros and these three zeros. Numerator and denominator is having these three zeros and they will be just removed. Now, use the table of 2. 2 ones are 2. And here, 2 ones are 2 and 0. Or you can say 2 tens are 20. Then, 10 ones are 10. 10 tens are 100. And you can multiply this numerator and the whole number so you will get 10 so as you are finding loss percent so sign of percent will be used here so 10 percent is the answer and i would again just say that this calculation is up to you that how you want to do the calculation you can multiply them first of all and then divide it by 20000 or you can do it like this or you can do it any manner because calculation is up to you that how you want to do the calculation Next is part C. Here SP is given rupees 750 and CP rupees 650. So let us write in the solution SP and CP and then let us compare them. Now after comparing we came to know that SP is greater. When SP is greater it means there is a profit. Because SP is greater than CP so profit will be SP minus CP. Put the values, subtract them, you will get profit that is rupees 100. After finding profit, you need to find profit percent that is profit upon CP multiply by 100. Put the values, solve them according to you, how you want to solve it, okay? And then find the answer. So here you can either solve in the way uh, we have solved in the previous sums or you can multiply this numerator and the whole number at the very first step. So you will get 100 into 100 that is 10,000 and you can divide it by 650. Now, first of all, just 
write it in simplest form do how much you can do so here remove one zero from both numerator and denominator and then divide it accordingly so five ones are five five threes are fifteen because one will get carried over here five twos are ten and then two zeros from this so you will have 200 divided by 3 you can divide it and you can see that quotient is 15 remainder is 5 so how you will write it first of all it is 200 by 13 percent and after dividing it what you have got 15 5 by 3 percent 15 is the quotient 5 is the remainder and 13 is the divisor so this is how you can write out but this part is up to you how you want to solve it there is no compulsion that you have to solve it like this only it is up to you you can divide 10,650 also then also you will get the same answer or you can break down it it is up to you fine next is question number two mandira purchased an old scooter for rupees 12,000 and spent rupees 3,000 on its repairs she sold it for rupees 18,000 how much percent did she gain or loss now first of all she bought a scooter for rupees 12 12,000 then she spent some amount on it for its repairs so whatever she spent on repair that will also get added in the cost price fine then also uh, then only total cost price will be calculated then she sold it means sp this is the sp she sold it for 18,000 so 18,000 is the sp we need to find how much percent did she gain or loss we need not to find the gain and loss only but we have to find the gain or loss percent but before finding gain or loss percent first of all we need to find the gain or loss so cp of an old scooter rupees 12000 money spent on its repair rupees 3000 therefore total cp because whatever we spent after buying something that is also included in the cost price so 12000 plus 3000 it is rupees 15000 now, SP of the scooter is 18,000. So, let us compare CP and SP. Because SP is greater than CP, so there is profit. Profit is equals to SP minus CP. Put the values, subtract them. So, you will find that profit is rupees 3,000. Profit or gain. Here, I have used the word gain. So, gain is also known as profit. So, profit percent or gain percent. What is the formula? Profit upon CP into 100. Now, you have to put the values of profit and CP. Multiply by 100. Solve it in whatever way you want to solve. So, 20 percent will be your answer. Means 20 will be your answer. But you have to write this answer in the form of percent. So, this is your answer. Now, next question. Question number 3. Ronnie bought an Almira for Rs. 6250 and spent Rs. 375 on its repairs. He sold it for Rs. 6890, find his gain or loss percent. So, Ron, uh, Ronnie bought an Almira for Rs. 6250, then he spent some money on its repair. So, that will also be included in the cost price. Then, selling price is given and we need to find the gain or loss percent. So, CP of an Almira, Rs. 6250. Money spent on its repairs, rupees 375. Therefore, first of all, we will find the total CP. Now, add rupees 6250 and rupees 375. So, answer will be rupees 6625 and this is the CP. Now, SP of the Almira is rupees 6890. Now, let us compare CP and SP. Because SP is greater than CP, so there will be profit. And profit is equals to SP minus CP. Now, put the values that is... SP 6890 and then CP 6625 subtract them you will get the answer rupees 265 this is profit now after finding profit now we will just find the profit percent okay now let us find the profit percent now profit percent is profit upon CP in 200 put the values here profit, here CP and this is 100. Now you can simply multiply the numerator and the whole number. So you will get 26500 then divide it by 6625 and then just see what answer you will get. So 
divide it by 5 see 5 ones are 5 here it is 6 so 1 will get carried here so it will become 16 so 5 threes are 15 again 1 will get carried over here it will become 12 so 5 twos are 10 and 2 will get carried over here so 5 fives are 25 here 5 fives are 25 1 carry it will become 15 so 5 threes are 15 and these two zeros now you can further divide it to reduce it to lowest terms or you can divide it like this 5300 0 by 1325 so when you will divide it by 4 you will get the remainder 0 it means 4% is the answer means profit percent is 4% and this portion is up to you that how you want to solve it how you want to do the calculation so I hope you would have understood this exercise <music>